record now. Hi, good evening, everybody. Welcome back after a one month break uh, where we had no webinars whatsoever. It was quite a good break for me after about two over three years now that I've done this um, webinar. And mainly because um, two reasons. Uh, funnily, the, do uh, the doctors pull out the webinar due to personal reason or some unforeseen circumstances. And also because I, due to my own fault, I didn't manage to apply for CPD points. Yeah. Um, so I have with me Dr. Ham Manjin, who is actually a colleague of mine uh, in Beacon. She's a radiologist. And we're going to do spot diagnosis in um, radiology. She has given us two talks and um, before, one on uh, x-ray, chest x-ray, I think. Huh? Oh, no, x-rays on here. And one on CT scan of the brain. You both were very interesting, especially the x-ray one. Um, and Manjin, you graduated from UM. How did yes. you get into radiology? Yeah? Usually, what is the pathway that you take? Huh? Okay, so for my, uh, in Malaysia, to become a radiologist, we have two pathways. One is by joining the Master in Radiology mm -hmm. uh, in government university, like UM, UKM, UPM, and USM. And then another one will be parallel pathway whereby you can take FRCR examination, which is like uh, those MRCP. So once you are in the examination board, you will register and you will have your own rotation in the radiology department in, in KKM hospital. So, so, it, so to take the par, par, parallel pathway, you also need to be in the radiology department, right? Yes. But before you pass the part one, you may be in other department. But after you pass the part one, then only sometime you can apply to the radiology department because not easy to get into radiology department as a service MO actually because they are always say full. I see. Um, but even the masters is also difficult to apply, right? Uh. Hard to say, uh, sometimes if you are lucky enough that you can get it through once apply, but now they have those uh, pre-entrance examination. So make sure you pass the pre-entrance examination that only you can join the master. Oh, there is an exam to join the master. Yeah, for now. Last time, when during my time, we don't have the examination. We just have the normal interview. And this examination, is it MCQ or is it an essay or is it on radiology or is it on general? Uh, it's um, mainly on radiology, I think. MCQ and mixed with OSCE, if I'm not mistaken. I see. Okay, so without further ado, we do this um, spot diagnosis in radiology. Yeah. Let's start. You can share your slide. Can everyone see my slide clearly? Uh, yes, your slide is quite, it's very clear. You can see, right? Okay, so let's start, yeah. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, so I'm Dr. Haman Chin from Beacon Hospital. So today, uh, mainly we are, I'm showing all the images only. Uh, I hope everyone join the quiz and answer the question. I will give you the correct answer for each of the firms. So I will cover X-ray in uh, many checks X-ray and then some mammogram images showing ultrasound images, um, some MSK images as well as the CT brain and MRI brain. So hopefully everyone can join the quiz and can learn something today. All right. So this is the first x-ray. So I need a spot diagnosis for this x-ray. So okay. patient, mm, patient uh, 55 years old, came in with chest pain. 
Okay, anyone? Come on. Just type the answer. Yes, just type the answer in the chat and then we will read it out. Yeah, please read the answer from Facebook Live as well because I can't see the Yeah, Facebook. I will. Okay, come on, girls. Why is today so Hi, shy? Today. <laughs> Just type your answer. Hey, how come nobody is typing? Come on. This is a straightforward, my feeling. Yeah, somebody answer in Facebook. So some, oh, okay, somebody answer in Facebook. Lily has um, said pulmonary uh, edema. Palm edema. Good. So this is a palm, acute pulmonary edema x-ray. So mm. we can see uh, upper lobe diversion, cardiomegaly, and some sort of um, interstitial changes as well as mild uh, pure effusion. All right. And then there's a line here. This one. Yes. The fluid going to the transverse process. Is this a Kylie B or Kylie A line? Uh, curly B line is here. You see the small, small line at the periphery. Yes. Curly B line. So this, uh, this, this transverse uh, line is also a curly B line. This transverse line, this line you are referring to. Yeah. This is not. This not. It's not. This is transverse fissure. This is the curly B line. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. All right. So is this the back wing kind of feature? Yes, back wing op opacity here, upper lobe diversion. Okay, this is a APO. It's a very common APO image. Okay, Dr. Nazura said there's widening of mediastinum. Uh, we see the X-ray as a whole. Uh, we don't we don't particularly comment about that. Okay. Yes, because mm -hmm. this we see too many other things that too many other features that suggest acute pulmonary edema. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think yeah. the last thing that you will focus on is the mediastinum. It yeah. is a very straightforward diagnosis. All right. Come, okay. let's go to the next one. Yeah. We have one hour only, right? Yeah, 45 minutes also can. Okay. Mm. Yeah. okay, what about this? Okay. Patient came in with shortness of breath for two weeks. Okay. Joey said plural effusion. Uh, uh, maybe on right the right or left side, Joey? Uh, right a little bit, but this is not the main That's not the main reason. So in this x ray. Anyone else? Okay. Anyone else on Facebook? I'm looking at Facebook. Pneumonia? No. No. No pneumonia. Yeah, I will look on Facebook. You just I'm looking okay. as well. I'm looking. Okay, great, great. Okay. Right sided pneumothorax. No, we can see all the pulmonary markings still see along the right lung field. So, and no pure line here to suggest pneumothorax. So, it's not. What do you think? I have shown okay, the that's right. Shui Jin, uh, Shui Jin has an answer there. That left I think. lung collapse. Uh, okay, which part of the left lung? Left lung. Left lung collapse is not a uh, full marks. Which look? You must tell me which look in this X ray. Left lower lobe collapse. No, wrong. So let yes. Somebody have answer left upper lobe collapse. So the answer is left upper lobe collapse. I've shown the x-ray during last presentation because I'm highlighting uh, in this x-ray, there is difference between the lucency in both lung fields. Okay. So in this case, you will see real light opacity uh, over the left lung fields here compared to the right. And there is elevation of left uh, hilum here. Normally, the hilum will almost the same as the right side, this part, right? But this one is elevated. And also, you will see a smaller lung volume uh, on the left. So this is a left upper lobe collapse. Remember, look at the look at and compare the lucency between both lung fields here. Okay? 
uh, is the diaphragm elevated yes. also? Yes, yes, together. And this, you know, this this feature that is there is a like a there is a uh what do you call that a term for it is it? We call it real light opacity. Ah yes, real light. Yeah, real light opacity. Okay, please remember. Look at both uh lungs. Uh the degree of the lucency in both lung fields to exclude uh, upper lobe, left upper lobe collapse, all right? So if it's lower lobe, it won't give this feature, is it? Lower lobe, it won't give these features and I will show it later, okay? Okay, let's uh, not tell them. <laughs> yes. Okay, go on. Next. Okay, what about this? This have a pathognomonic sign in this x-ray. Okay, this... Anyone? Anyone answer? Okay. This one, a uh, pathognomonic. Uh. Yeah, this one also I have shown during last yeah. presentation. Okay, yeah. there's op like an opacity over the up right upper lobe. Right upper zone here. Yes. Okay, somebody have answered it correctly in Facebook. Right the upper lobe collect right Okay, good. And right then Li Jia Jing also said right upper lobe consolidation in PTB. Okay. Uh no, we call it con uh, collapse because there's uh this one we call it golden S sign here, the mm -hmm. pure line, which uh yeah this sorry the fissure that elevated and this is the upper lobe collapse become an opacity here and also along with elevation of the right hilar point so this is a upper lobe collapse on the right okay joey said achalasia i i never heard the term before but uh, what uh, achalasia is a dilatation of the esophagus you will see a tubular structure airfield at the mediastinal here uh, which in this case is no Okay. okay, does the heart look small and... Uh, heart small, never mind. Cannot look big. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> because of the magnification. Yes. Okay. okay, so remember, go back. Uh, left upper lobe collapse, real light opacity. All right, next, right upper lobe collapse, uh, golden S sign with upper zone opacity here. Okay? Okay, good eye. Good. All right, next. Uh, so this is the comparison and some wording. So okay. let's go to the next slide. Yeah. What about this? Okay, this one, anyone? Don't worry everyone, my case are quite easy and straightforward. Huh? Just a revision for everyone. Yeah, it's okay if you get it wrong. Okay, Shui, yeah. Shui, Shui Chin, left lower look. Left. Uh, yes. So this case is the left lower lobe collapse, which answer your question earlier. So there is triangular opacity at retrocardiac region. Okay. So triangular opacity. Triangular opacity here. This one. So always remember to review the review area in a chest X-ray is a retrocardiac region. Okay. So this can be easily missed if we don't scrutinize the X-ray enough. Okay, good. So, Chin, you answer it correctly. Left lower lobe collapse. All right. CA lung. Uh, no, somebody in Facebook also answered it correctly. Okay. Yes, Tammy Lo and Teo Jiaji said yeah. that left lower lobe. Okay, CA lung. We were looking at a radiology diagnosis and we're not looking at a histopathology kind of diagnosis. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we, when you see a uh, low lobe collapse, you have to order CT so that we need to see if there's any tumor correctly uh, blocking the uh, left low lobe blockers. Lah. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, what about this? Wow. Okay, maybe we can say what do you see? Mm, what do you see? What do you see? Okay, definitely a mediastinal shift. Even the trachea is shifted to the right. Yes. Okay, even I can say that. So anyone, come on. Left, Left tension, tension neurothorax. 
no, no because you see right. you still see lung marking here yeah but sorry this x-ray quality a bit poor the images not so clear but uh it's not a tension pneumothorax i think it's also a collapse yes it, it's because we are at the okay, massive pneumothorax singly uh no loss of right cardiac silhouette juan lee said uh, okay, loss of right cardiac silhouette, yes, because there's an opacity here obscuring it. Somebody okay. get it correctly. Yes. In the Lee Lee Jing said right, right lower lobe collapse. The answer but is right Lee lower lobe collapse. Right middle lobe collapse. So which one is it? This is right lower lobe collapse. Why? Because it obscuring the right cardiac silhouette at the same time is also obscuring the right hemidiaphragm. Okay, so something in middle lobe, it won't uh, obscure the right hemidiaphragm. It will only obscure the right heart border for middle lobe uh, pathology. Okay? So when this opacity here, quite uh, linear, also quite triangular in shape, obscuring both uh, uh, hemidiaphragm as well as the right heart border, then we call it right lower lobe collapse. Okay? Okay. So we compare with this one. This is the left lower lobe collapse on the left and then right lower lobe collapse will be on the right. Okay? I think with this systematic uh, features that we are demonstrating, Dr. Uh, Hamanchin is demonstrating, it will stick in our brain for a long time to come. Yeah. Okay, let's go on. Let's go on. Uh, next one. Okay, what about this x-ray? Uh, which one is this? Are you anyone guessing? Mm, anyone? Okay, this x ray looks fairly normal to me. Yeah, it's fairly normal generally. But uh, you lose some of the cardiac silhouette. Yes, lose some of the cardiac silhouette here. So there might be some consolidation here or the collapse here. So somebody get it right in Facebook, Mafusa. This is a right middle lobe collapse. Okay, because the right heart border is obscured, you can see, but the right hemidiaphragm is preserved. Okay? We need more of you to please. Uh... Right. Join yeah. the free. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this is all right. So to confirm it, we can do a lateral view. Then you will see a triangular opacity on the lateral view facing anteriorly. So this is the right middle lobe pathology. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about this easy one? Okay. Come. Let's see what's the easy one. Oh. Oh. Not so easy. La. Okay. This one is easy. La. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah, this one very easy. Uh, anyone? Where's our star student, Shui, Shui Jin? Shui Jin? Anyone? We've got more and more people coming in, but less and less people. Yeah, right period effusion, correct. Yeah, yeah, G said right period effusion. Honey said right period effusion. Yeah, and this is a right period effusion. We, I'm showing the different degree of right period effusion. This one mild, and then this one uh, moderate to gross right period effusion. Okay. Okay. Loss Kenny, when you Kenny, when you say period effusion, especially when you are trying to, uh, you have to state right or left to be more exact. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see there's a loss of uh, costophrenic angle here on the right side. Those, this is a right pure effusion. Okay? Yes. Let's move on. Yeah. What about this? Okay. Anyone? Oh, this is very special. Huh? Anyone? Fausan said pure effusion. Right pure effusion. This one, no. This, uh, I think maybe this was uh, for the previous slide. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyone for this? There's obviously an opacity over the right middle zone. What is this opacity? 
there is answer. anyone at all? No. Right, yeah. middle zone consolidation, Joan said. Yeah, the uh, differential diagnosis. Emilia said right mass lesion, middle lobe. Okay. Hmm. Mafusa middle said right lung mass. Yeah, it's, it's a bit differential, huh? but you don't use the middle lobe here because middle lobe is over this region, remember? Okay. Just like oh. we, uh, saying the collapse, things happen. Oh, yes, it's middle lobe is. Yeah, so we use the zone in x ray, which is safer for us. Uh, Okay, somebody said this is a mass or consolidation here. Okay, as a DDX, but this X-ray particularly is a, we call it pseudo tumor where there is a loculated evolution at the right transverse cross, uh, transverse fissure. I see. Hmm. Okay. So this this is usually due to what? Fluid effusion. Oh, it's also a kind of effusion. Yes. But uh, sometimes we will report it as mass, but when we look at uh, this kind of like oval shape, very uh, well defined, very well defined over the transverse fissure region, we will definitely say it as a pseudo tumor or loculated effusion first. Okay. Okay. But just can... now that I mistook for the curly B line, mm. is where this is right. This is yeah. a so this is an extension of that fluid accumulation. Yes. Sometimes they can be just loculated here, but you see this case also there's the costal frenic angle is still preserved on the right, right? Okay. Yeah, okay, so pseudo tumor, and then you can give all the DDX mass consolidation and all. All right, next. Do you have to do a CT scan? For of, this, uh, or... ultrasound first. Ultrasound? Uh? Yeah, because we can use ultrasound to see effusion. I see. Uh, you directly go to CT scan also can because at the same time we can uh, examine the lung as a whole. Okay. Uh, okay. So next, yeah. This one easy one come. <laughs> easy. <laughs> okay, guys. This one. Uh, this one. Uh, effusion is encapsulated, hence not at lung base. Somebody asked Christine. Yeah, not at lung base. It's at the fissure region. Okay. Hmm. This is a dilated aorta. Medias, this is the mediastinal widening. Okay. Yes. Dilated so yes. Somebody answer okay, what? So Mafuza is correct that uh, okay. it's a widened mediastinum. So this one we need Facebook is yeah, active. Elizabeth said left pleural effusion, left pleural effusion. Uh, no, in this x-ray, the uh, stunning one is the mediastinal widening. Uh, one said the uh, thoracic, thoracic aortic. Aneurysm, right. So uh, aneurysm have to be excluded in this case, need to do a CTA, okay? Okay, so... So remember, okay, let's look back. So compare this x-ray, the mediastinum is not wide. Okay. But if you go back to this x-ray, the mediastinum is widening. Yes. Okay. So, so when you look at this x-ray, remember must do a CTA to confirm if there's any aneurysm. All right. Good, good. Okay, next. Actually, uh, Facebook very active. Lah. Don't want to I join. Think it's quite active. Good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know why they don't want to join us on Zoom. Okay, let's go on. This one, this actually a bit blurred, but I think still can see. And this one looks normal to me. Okay, anyone? I yeah, think. Anyone? So now, uh, actually, I'm just looking at the midis dinner because we seem to be focusing there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am... Uh, this dissenting aneurysm is the earlier x-ray, but not this one, yeah? yeah? Okay, anyone for this? Anyone can answer? If not, I'm going to reveal the answer. No, wait, wait for a while. Give us some time. Because even I also can't seem to think. Okay, and you can see as in as the lung field, look at the review areas where, okay, yeah? review areas for us. Apical region, okay, and then along the paramediastinal region, okay, high lung, and then postural angle, and also retrocardiac region. 
and then some outside the lung. Okay. Uh, so these are the review areas. Uh, bestosis, no, but bestosis will have diffuse pure thickening, no. not in this case. Um, they said that the Facebook, they can't come in because there's something wrong with the e Zoom link. Okay, i share again. Okay, so uh, Hani said asbestosis, I don't think that is no, the answer. Okay, somebody said... Utaya, okay. Utaya said hyperinflation with perihyla haziness. No. No. Mm. Okay. This but, is about the review areas. Uh, this okay. Mafuza mm -hmm. said a trachea deviation. Uh, no, trachea is quite central in this case. Uh, Go Yuan Yi said left hyla enlargement. Uh, no, it's still within normal limit. And uh, bilateral. Bilateral apical collapse. Mm, no, because no. the apical region is uh, quite symmetrical. Okay, rib fracture. Faustian said rib fracture. Uh, where is the which ribs? Which rib, Faustian? <laughs> okay, Li Jia Jing said left very high nodules. Uh, no, these all are vascular marking. So okay. let me review the answer. Okay, review and answer. And opacity at retrocardiac cardiac region. Opacity. Okay. Oh, okay. okay I you can see this one is a bit, uh, this is still the retrocardiac region, but this bit here is a bit loosened compared yes, to, to this. here. Okay. So, so it's a mm. retrocardiac region, a uh, posterior mediastinal mass must do a CT or MRI in this case. Okay. Okay. Mm. So always remember to review the retrocardiac region. Okay. Let's see, go back, for example, go back to this x-ray. Yes. You will see that this one is quite loosened, the retrocardiac region. But just now, the one is low a bit, very opaque here. Okay? Uh, we must always look hard for this when you review x-ray. All right? Okay, let's go to the next one. What about this x-ray? Okay, this one. This one. Okay. Any wait, hold on. Now let me go back to Facebook. Okay, anyone here? Let me see. Oh, so exhausting! I'm trying to read X. <laughs> yeah, I still have a lot to yeah. show. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. We are all excited. Faster, lah, guys. <laughs> if you don't guess, we can't move on. Yeah, straight left heart border, a little bit, but still acceptable. Narrow mediastinum. Normally, narrow mediastinum should be Like not small heart, there. don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> small one, don't worry. Big one, then we are. <laughs> okay. So actually, this one is just a normal x-ray, okay? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 So bad. Went home. Left lower lobe collapse, please. We oh, have all wrong. It's a normal x ray, please. Normal x ray, okay. <laughs> Remember, we can have normal x ray all the times, all right. All the time, yeah. Most so, of the time. Yeah, going okay. To so, this is a normal x ray. Yeah, you see the you see retrocardiac region, nothing, costophrenic angle, okay, apical region clear, mediastinum high, la, all normal, then normal x ray, all right. Okay, let's move on. Hang on now, going back. Okay, what about this x-ray? Uh, this x-ray. I think, hang on now, let me check this. Mm, okay, this one a bit tricky also. Uh, this one. Uh. Okay, okay, this one. Uh. Congested uh, lung, no, this is still okay. This is still okay. Uh. It doesn't look like the it's it look like it doesn't look like fat very very normal but this one for this patient age like 60 70 something big size guys uh is still normal because uh we have to look at the at the as a whole uh, the x-ray okay. so, so somebody say bronchitis is changes uh bronchitis changes uh not in this case not obvious 
in CT also no bronchiectatic changes in this patient. Widen widening, no, this is still not widened. We measure it is still less than 8 cm. Is the heart slightly enlarged? Heart looks slightly enlarged, but, but when you measure the cardiac thoracic angle, CTR is still within normal limit. Okay. Mm, so when I sometimes eyeballing, we still need to measure with the measurement. How about the ribs? Huh? Ribs uh, normal. Okay. Right bronchial narrowing. Oh, I... Right bronchial narrowing. Okay, you can see here. All right. So, so now I'm going to review. There's a lesion here. This is a real patient. Huh? There's a lesion here. Oh, we sort of will miss it. Mm. Can you see when I draw it out? When you when you draw it out, of course, can see lah. Yeah. So you can see the a little bit of different intensity on here with the retrocardiac region. All right. So your eyes must practice a lot. You you your so eyes. I need to see a lot. Yeah, mm. see, a lot. see a lot. So this one, and then this one easily miss it. If I'm I'm the first one who looking at the extra, so I will miss it. But I have the CT actually. So this is a CT scan of the patient done on the same day. This okay. is cheating or cheating? Okay. Yeah, I'm cheating a bit. So this one, patient came for health screening on it. It's our patient, Betty. Our patient? Uh? Mm, our patient. So uh, you see, during the CT coronary incidental finding of this lung lesion I here. see. Mm, so I go back to the x-ray, then I see this opacity here. So this is the lung lesion. So always remember to Okay, the so patient. actually the CT scan was actually done for calcium scoring. Yeah, for calcium scoring. Oh my god. Yes. So remember review area. Yeah. Mm, review mm -hmm. area. So mm -hmm. review area apical. Apical uh retrocardia paras uh paraspinal here, mediastinal, hyla, costophrenic angle, both sides. Yeah. All right. Mm. So next so review area. Yeah. Okay, this x-ray is a fresh x-ray today. Before 5 p.m. Okay, this is a fresh x-ray. Mm, patient came in with uh, 15 years old, came in with back pain and chest pain. Oh. So when you listen to the... Um, okay, so you will hardly know what I want to show. Sclerosis, so little bit, okay, but it's not the main point. We are in the chest x-ray, okay? Hyperlucency, where is the hyperlucency? Okay, somebody say hyper. No, hyperlucency, Fauzan said was from the previous, for the previous. Oh, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so the scoliosis is not the main thing. Yeah, scoliosis. A lot of 15 years old have scoliosis. Yeah, have Hyperinflated, <laughs> ventilated, oh. hyperinflated. Lung. Iotic dissection, no, also we will expect to have a mediastinal widening if iotic dissection, some sort okay. if you want to show on next uh, Somebody oh. said cavitating. Can you show me where is the cavitating lesion, which region that you are seeing? Right, costal phrenic angle look a bit blunted. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Okay, but something else I want to show in this x-ray. Small right lower lobe pneumothorax. Mm, yeah, there is pneumothorax in this case, but not at the lower lobe. So can you see where is the pneumothorax? Where's the pneumothorax? Let me see. Pneumothorax on x-ray erect when we're standing, always at the upper zone. Yes, upper okay. zone. So here, this is the tiny pneumothorax. Can you see? I can't see. So you will see a small pure line here, this line, this pure line, just very mild. And there is area here, the word of lung marking, more loosened this bit here compared to the rest of the lung field. So this is a tiny pneumothorax. Okay, you okay. change the aortic dissection. Aortic dissection is a... A diagnosis made from echo and also from CT scan, not so much uh, on this x ray. Okay, the so, line behind the liver, no, 
no light may the liver is the this one a little bit blunted just now. Yeah. But this X-ray mainly want to show the pneumothorax. Oh, I can't see uh, until even now you show. This is the pure line. Then this bit here, lucency, a bit more lucent, devoid of lung marking. I call it a pneumothorax in this case. Okay. okay. Mm. okay. Very, very subtle, uh, this one. Yeah, this one very subtle. I can't see at all. Yeah. So the line behind liver normal, this one. This one can be normal because sometimes the technical images are then we will see this line sometimes. Okay, but you need to rule out effusion in this case also. But more in this x-ray particularly, I just want to show the pneumothorax. All right. Okay, let's go to the next one. This one, everyone can get it right up. Huh? Okay, this one. Okay, let me see. Uh, okay, right pneumothorax. Okay, this one is quite. This one uh, very obvious. Is yes, the very obvious. Okay. Yes. So obvious. nobody should miss this. Huh? Okay. Yes. Hmm, so go to the next one. Okay, this one is very obvious. Huh? This one, what about this? This one, is, this is a tension pneumothorax. Yes, this one also pneumothorax. So different degree of pneumothorax I'm showing you guys, okay? Yes. With total collapse of the right lung already. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, what about this? This is a very interesting case. Okay, let me see. Uh. Hmm. This, hey, this one, uh, the chest upper look look like peculiar. This is, uh, can anyone? It's a very what interesting. Reticular changes, likely ILD. Reticular changes, Um. okay, I need to say something. Is my x-ray in my hospital all showing quite reticularly, so... I'm used to it, so I would say this is a normal, but not reticular. It's just a prominent lung marking. Okay. Muffler uh, says scapula shadow. Scapula shadow for meaning? I don't know. Uh, so <laughs> it's a very interesting case. Normal Why? Because you uh, uh, No, this is not pneumothorax. Bilateral upper zone seems enlarged. Hyperinflated lung. Hyperinflated only in the upper zone to me. The upper zone is something wrong, right? I feel. Okay, you think upper okay. zone is something wrong, right? Uh, I think it's the thoracic, uh, the thoracic cage kind of. Um, oh, I see. Normally, but maybe, but it's still normal the shape of the patient. But this one I want to show is, can you see this line here? Yes. Line. This are yes. artifact. This. So you, okay, in this case, are uh, very special in this line. Okay. Yes. Another thing is also you guys have pointed out, you will see more loosen of the upper zone. Yes. Compared to the mid and lower zone bilaterally, right? Okay. So let's ignore this little bit of scoliosis. Uh, it's not our main topic today. Okay. So with this x-ray, these are the breast implant. Okay. With this oh, marker, motiwa marker. Oh, I shouldn't say out the brain, sorry. So this is a breast implant chest x-ray. Oh. Mm, okay. So the, the two marking is the, the incision, is it? No, oh, this marking, uh, I think it's the implant itself that have the marker. I see. Mm, so this is a very interesting case. So most of the patient when they have breast implant, there will be change, uh, difference in the lucency of the upper zone and the breast region. Okay? Okay. Mm, no other pathology except for this one and then a little bit of scoliosis. Okay. Let's go to this x-ray. So we have covered... Okay, I give some hints. Uh, now we are looking at lung nodule already. Okay? Okay. 
please find for me where is the nodule. Okay. This is like, a, you know, where they say, please find the panda. Yeah. Thing. Search. Search. Okay. Left, Left, middle, no. Left middle zone. No, this, I think you are referring to this bit here is a vascular marking. Okay. Oh, and you already trained the eyes. Uh. Let mm -hmm. me see. Uh. Left side, no. It's on the right. On the right. Left lower, simply. Uh. Right apical. No, right apical. Nothing much. Uh. Right it's upper zone. Of, upper, a little bit of... um. Rotation. It's on the right. On the right here. Let's see together. Upper zone. Nothing. Right middle zone. This one is not. This is the end on vessel. Okay. So a little bit of fibrotic changes here. So right cardiac border. He said right cardiac border. Still fairly nicely delineated. The right cardiac border. Then right lower zone. Yeah, right lower zone, there's a nodule here. Can you see? Wow, so subtle. But how to make sure it's a real nodule or nipple marker? Okay. I mean nipple shadow. So I'm going to the left side here. I can see another similar nodule here. I right. see. So most likely this is the nipple shadow. But to confirm it, I need to put a nipple marker and repeat an x-ray. So this is a repeated x-ray and then showing this is the nipple shadow okay oh okay right mm, so this is just what i want to show some sometimes you see nodule it can be just a nipple shadow all right but you need to confirm it by repeating the x-ray again okay so going to the next one what about this okay this one This one has a nodule also. Mm, this is a nodule also. This, this is a nodule is, This nodule is also near at where you showed the nipple. Yes. Right nipple. Yeah, but then this one we don't see it on the left. Yes. Okay. So this one, this one, uh, I don't have the images with repeated nipple marker, but this is the lung nodule here. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. So, what about this? Nodule, ah, looking at. Where is the nodule in this x ray? Right middle zone opacity. Uh, no, nothing here. It's quite clear. This is just the vessel. Where is the nodule in this case? Okay, let me see. Yeah. The nodule in this case. Left lower zone. Yes, the nodule at left lower zone here. Mm. Okay. Yes. This also can be look like a nipple shadow also, right? Like just now the case. Yes. Okay. Mm. Hang on now. Can you see? So this one also the nipple shadow with the nipple marker here. Okay. Oh, just now the left that one is actually a nipple also. For for the this left one, lower yes. zone one. Yes, this also oh. the nipple. Okay. Okay. With the nipple marker, so you don't see the nodule anymore, but need to repeat. Lah. Mm. So going to next one. Hang on, I think I'm going different direction. Okay, what about this? Okay. This is also okay at the at the left lower zone, same place. Same place, ah. So we have to give differential of nodule or nipple shadow, right? Yes. Hmm. Okay. Must give. So okay. for this patient, see, this is the date twenty twenty. Okay. So you will easily think that this is a nipple shadow, correct? Yes. Because it's almost the same like the earlier case just now, right? Yes. yes. 
So, but then this patient come back in 2022. This is the same patient. Uh, you see the lung nodule here is growing much bigger. So oh, this, so they missed it. Yes. So this is the tumor. Okay. Oh, lucky for him that it didn't grow so fast. Uh? Quite considered quite fast already. Two years, you know. Yes, uh, yeah. So you see this one. Uh, then after that, he did nothing for this lesion. Come back again. Okay, 2020, this small. 2022, this big. Yes. Coming back again. is. Oh my big. God, why yeah. he didn't do anything? I don't know. He already, doctor already missed. Then uh, for the tumor and then. Uh, but okay, is it possible that the 2020 is really the, the okay, can it be maybe, possible that this is maybe. the tumor? Because yes. see, within two years, it only um, grew, so not yes, much we at cannot, all. We cannot blame back the 2021, but for this one, uh, we need to do something already. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The uh, 2021 maybe is truly the nipple. Yeah, hard to say. But, yes. But, so this is just to uh, always must bear in mind when we are not sure, do a nipple marker. Mm. Okay. Okay. Because at the time we didn't do so, we didn't know whether it's a, but it's a same oh, right. Thing, right? Yes. Mm. So come back as a stage four uh, with multiple meds already. All right. It's, yeah. a very, it's a very young patient, actually. This is not cannonball, right? Uh, this is not cannonball yet, but okay. extensive lung meds. Okay. Okay. Mm. okay. This is another patient already. This one fairly easy. Tiny, tiny nodule diffusely distributed in both lungs. Millary TB. Yeah, this is a millary TB, correct. So millary nodules are bilaterally. Okay, let's move on. Okay, okay what so about this? As, if we suspect a nodule, especially in primary care, do we need to send x-ray for reporting or repeat x-ray? Yes, sometimes I think it's uh, not well to repeat, right? Yeah, you repeat with a nipple marker first if you are suspecting. If really you are not sure, you send to reporting also, we will make maybe we will just tell the same thing also. Mm. But if in other location, of course, no need to repeat a nipple marker. Mm. So this x-ray, very interesting. Come where is the pathology? It's the left hilum and large. No, we are asking you a question. You cannot ask us question back. You must state it. That one should be the answer he's giving. <laughs> yes. Yes. No question. Is, yes. yes, the left hilum is enlarged. Okay. Yes, the left are good. You pick it up. Mm. Okay. So the left hilum is enlarged. So there's something here, right? Yes. So differential can be a lesion, nodal, or lung lesion. Okay. So this patient... After this, I have a CT scan. So this is a lung mass here. Can you see? Yes. Lung mass here. And also this part. But on x-ray, it's look just a little bit of shadowing and enlargement. Yes. Okay, this one easily means also. So make sure we always must see the inverted V shape of the hilum both sides. Huh? So mm. that we don't miss it. This is the one of the review area. Okay. Uh, good. Kenny, you pick it up. So this a uh, tumor that uh, uptake on this one PET CT scan. Okay, so this one, this also an easy one. I think this uh, we do two, three more slides only, then we will stop, mm. and we will bring you back for some more of this spot diagnosis. It's very fun. Uh, I still have a lot of X-ray and images. Yes, yes. So we will have some more session with you. Yeah, come. Let's complete this. Yes, complete this. Yeah, right lung mass at lower zone, right at lung lower, right, right lung nodule, correct. So together, what's uh there's also interstitial changes in this case, huh? You see oh, all the I see. changes. This one you uh like these reticular changes. Just now all the one that like uh on the left side here are the lung marking only. Just the other few patients earlier are more prominent, but this is the real reticular interstitial changes. Okay. Okay. I will show you. So uh Perry asked how Perry asked how to differentiate peri hyla haziness with lung marking. Okay. Peri hyla haziness. 
then you need to see whether it's opacity or it's just a, this kind of very tiny reticular linear lines, then we will call it as the interstitial changes. Lung marking, you will see is uh, quite obvious and then will continuously go up like that. And you don't see this kind of busy, busy linear opacity. It's yeah. different thing, okay? It's like uh, somebody cracked a... Uh, um, you know your iPhone. Okay, so what is the line across the right yeah, middle yeah. zone? This yeah. one again is the uh transverse fissure. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a transverse fissure, it's just prominent on x-ray. Okay. okay. Mm, this is a transverse fissure. So in this case, why well, it's so prominent because there's also thickening in this transverse fissure. Oh, this so this yeah. now is not fluid but more of thickening. Ah, uh, yes. Here, this patient a little bit of fluid, but this is not fluid still, this thickening. So, but on x-ray, we can't tell 100% exactly. So, you just comment as thickening of the transverse fissure. Okay? okay. So, this uh, x-ray for the same patient, you'll see a lung mass here and all these interstitial reticular changes here. Okay. All right? Mm. Okay, what about this? Oh. <clears throat> There's a mass with collapse consolidation of the right upper lobe. Anyone? Consolidation. Oh, this is Betty, your answer, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How I know maybe one day I need to be a radiologist. Yeah, please study. Like right <laughs> upper lobe consolidation to raw PTB. Uh, okay, Some. Uh, something else? In this X-ray, anyone else? Consolidation, everyone can see. Ah, uh, very good. Collapse consolidation, no, uh, not collapse. Uh. uh, I don't see a golden S sign here. Oh, la. I see. Must okay. see a golden S sign. Uh, so yes. this one okay. is consolidation. Okay. Right, upload atelectasis. Uh, no, here is all the consolidation already. Okay. So something else in the X-ray. Something else in the X-ray. Not only consolidation. A mess, ah? Where is the mess? Left period effusion. Okay. Abscess. Somebody said. Yeah. Abscess. Where is the abscess? Left cavitating lesion. Yeah. So clever. Yeah. Okay. Hard to make any, hard to say because it's a portable, so the heart get magnified. So very good. There's a cavitating lesion here. It's an abscess here. Oh, the abscess is okay. there. I never look at that at all because yes. I really want because you have findings here. Yes. Okay, so this is an abscess cavitating lesion here, and then this is the. Oh, PIC. these people are so smart. Yeah. What's yeah. reverse E sign? Is it? Correct or wrong? This reverse E sign. It's reverse E sign. I don't know. Paris Paris said reverse E sign. Reverse E. I haven't read about reverse E. Okay. Sign. So if the radiologist said talking about reverse hello sign, but this is not. But this is okay. not. Okay. Reverse lesion. reverse oh, three huh? sign. Reverse three sign. Don't know. Reverse three. Okay. Don't know. Reverse three sign. Uh, I think no, not in this case. The one I think is. Are you talking about uh arch of aorta coarctation? No, this one is cavitating lesion. All right. So wow, okay. well done, guys. I'm so proud of you guys. Mm -hmm. So you will see. Uh, you see on CT scan. Oh my god, so obvious. Yeah, this is a thick wall cavitating lesion, and then after that they put in a. Uh, pick till to drain the fluid out. Okay, good that you all pick it up for this x ray. Very good. So don't only look at the consolidation, look at the rest of the lung view as well. Okay. So in the end, it's a, an infective cause. Infective, uh, yeah, infection. So cavity and consolidation, of course, TB need to be excluded first. Lah. Okay. okay. All right. You still have some more. Okay, what about this? Mm. I think two more. Okay, two more. 
I think two more. After you that see, a lot, got two more. A lot for next time, huh? Yeah, a lot for next time. Okay. Very fun, huh? Very interesting, right? Yeah, very interesting. The majority of the cases are our patient. Oh, oh you're so sad, huh? Hmm. Okay. Other That's people's fun. patient less sad, now. Nah. <laughs> So how do you archive them? I can export the images by anonymize their name. And then after that, you will... Save into the PowerPoint. And then you make notes or not? Mm. Yeah. Oh, very good teacher, are you? Okay, come on, guys. This one. This is a whiteout of... Uh, yeah. right Right lung atelectasis, no. Atelectasis will see a thick line, okay? But not in this case. So, this case are uh, very, very complex. Right, pure right effusion. Uh, you cannot tell just pure effusion uh, because it's total white out. You can describe as white out, actually. So, I'm right. Okay, right lung collapse. Somebody said right lung total collapse. So, Tammy Low or uh, Dr. Ong also. Theogiae, right, total lung collapse. Why the lung will have total lung collapse? Actually, in this case, it's a pneumonectomy. They already removed the right lung. Okay. <laughs> so, the trick is there are surgical clips here at the hyla region. Oh. Okay. And then you will see crowding of the ribs. Okay. Uh, even in collapse also, we have crowding, but these are more extensive. So this is, and then trachea deviation because no more lung on the right. So this is a post pneumonectomy changes. Okay, Q, okay. Jesse, we just mm -hmm. told you the answer. So left tension pneumothorax is wrong. Yeah, okay. The pneumothorax won't look like that. The pneumothorax will look loosened. This is loosened, okay. And then you see the a, a lump at the, near the cardiac shadow there. There okay. is a lung. Okay. So good. This is a pneumonectomy. I just show some interesting cases. This we will only encounter in hospital setting, lah, most likely, not in clinic setting. Okay. So don't miss out the surgical uh, tips. Ah. Mm, tips. Then it will give us some hints. Okay. okay. Tricky. Mm, tricky. Okay. What about this? I think this is the last already for okay. chat. Yeah, la, last already. La. I'm also very exhausted already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my second webinar now. Just now did the nursing webinar. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Come on, guys. But in the end, you all can do a lot. La. Left lung nodule. Yes, good. You find it. This is yeah. a nodule here, right? It's very good. But it looks quite dense, right? So, so wherever I think that. Mm, we are sure people. we do CT scan for this patient. This is people people uh, should be lower down looking at the shape of the breast shadow. Okay? So this uh, nodule here. So after that, we do CT scan. Actually, this is the breast calcification. Oh, I see. Right? So it's mm. not the lung. Yes. So, but on x-ray, we still need to report it as a nodule at the left lower zone. So is it cancerous? No, it's a uh, cost macro calcification. This is benign calcification. I see. Okay. So so not all nodules are nodules. Not nip all nipple are nipple. And then not okay. all lung nodules are from the lung. Okay. Okay. And with that, I would like to thank you for a very interesting spot diagnosis in radiology. So now I want to do more of spot diagnosis in radiology. So now we have spot diagnosis in dermatology. We are going to have spot diagnosis. In, we have done spot diagnosis in uh, cardiology. Now we're going to do spot diagnosis in radiology. Oh, well done, guys. I'm so proud of many, many of you. So I'm going to share, okay, if you don't mind um, to stop sharing because I need to share the, okay, we stop recording here. Thank you very much. Wait, ah.